If your van is newer than mine, you might find that you've got a few of those um, along the length of the the roof edge. <coughs> if you do, they're they're easily removed. They're they're rivet covers. Just prise them off with a a screwdriver or a chisel. Underneath, you'll find a a plastic white cap. You probably need to cut that off or pull it off with a pair of pliers, and that'll leave you with a rivet head. Um, that's okay. Once you get down to the rivet, just put a piece of um, not a piece, a bit of silicon over the top, and the sail track will sit happily on top of the the rivets. It, it's um, it's flexible enough to go over those. I've cut my piece of sail track to <clears throat> 2,540 millimeters, which is exactly the length of my get out of it. Exactly the length of my front roof. It comes to that end and that end perfectly. I've also chamfered the end slightly and I've spent ages on it with my little round uh, jeweler's file. Um, getting these corners and the inside really really smooth so it won't catch on the uh, awning material. Um, I'll just demonstrate it passes the, the rolled up tissue test with flying colors. I can poke it in there and try and get, get it so that you can see it. So I can pull that in and out with ease and it's not snagging on the material at all. If, it, if it'll get away with that, then the awning is pretty safe. Um, so the next job, I've also drilled, I think, seven holes. So the next job is to um, mark those holes on the, the frame underneath so that I can drill all the way through. I use um, cloth tape, a couple of lengths of this, to hold it down while I'm doing that. The last thing you want is to mark that one and have it warp before you finish the other end. So they don't line up. There we go. Now I just use a sharpie to go through and leave a dot underneath, which I can drill. Tape off. Okay, and I drill the holes with a three millimeter drill bit. As you can see, it goes through pretty easily. So I've got holes in my truck and my roof now. The next important job, and don't forget this one, is put a big blob of silicon on every hole that you've drilled, every hole that's already there, and all around whatever rivets you might have. If there's a way in, water will find it. Don't be tight on the silicon either. Okay, so we're ready to screw it on. Um, put it on carefully, give it a bit of a, a rub around just to spread the silicon. And then I use these, they're 8G 20mm self-tappers. With the impact driver they should go in pretty easily. Oh, oh. Yeah. 
is a piece of sail track that I've just cut to uh, 910 millimeters, which I think is about the standard for uh, A-liners and cruise liners for the, the bottom part of the, the track. So it goes right to the end of the roof and stops short of where the, the front roof comes down. With my three millimeter drill bit, I've drilled four holes in my piece of sail track, uh, 50 millimeters from the end, then 270, 270, 270. Well, there we go. Right, hopefully they'll li they'll line up now. The next job is to put silicon there, 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 and there, and just make sure that there's no other holes. Um, now is the time to patch up any holes that do exist. Don't be tight with the silicon, there's plenty. Okay, once that's done, put the track in place. Give it a bit of a push around to spread the silicon around the holes. 